Hey everyone, thanks for checking in again. You know, today I wasn't planning on making a video. I was going to wait till Friday when I received my first female ball python, but I made some changes and I wanted to share that with you. Please like and subscribe and let's get right into it. The changes that I'm making is my substrate. In the beginning, I was using coconut husk. Now, when I bought my Colombian rainbow boa, I've been using coconut husk with eco earth. You know, she loves to burrow, so I think it's perfect. But now when I moved on to ball pythons, I was having difficulty keeping the enclosure clean. I couldn't easily find the waste, uh, the poop. So uh, I decided after researching a little bit, if it was healthy, unhealthy, to switch over to paper towel. Now what I find is a lot of it is just personal preference. At the end of the day, if your snake is thriving, then you do whatever works. If, you know, be it substrate or how you feed, you know, you just want to create a great environment and make your animal happy. So let me show you an example why for me, it's a little bit easier using paper towel over coconut husk. Check this out. All right. So we have our coconut husk bedding and you know, the snake. Yeah, this is not poop, it's just ego earth and water. But he does his business and your spot cleaning. I mean, that already, I mean, it might look a little bit different, but it's going to dry out. It, your snake's going to move around. It's going to get covered if you don't catch it right away. And you lost it. it. You know, you have to, for me, I would have to take the whole thing out. I really couldn't spot clean. I didn't feel comfortable that it was a, a sterile environment. But I do like the paper towel. Let's check that out. All right, so here's the paper towel. You know, the snake, it does its business. No problem. You can see it right away. Easy to clean, easy to spot. And what I really like about it is that, you know, if there's any blood in the stool, you're going to see it right away. You're not going to miss it. You'll be able to just clean it up. If there's ever any mites, hopefully not, but you're going to see the them on the paper towel. So you'll be able to take action really quick with any problems that your snake might have. And just like that, spray it down, wipe it up, and you're good to go. All right, so it really depends, I guess, on you and your preferences and the welfare of your animals. You know, it's something I've decided to do now. It doesn't mean that I won't change in the future. I just want to make sure I'm doing the best I can and give the best care for the ball pythons. Just on a side note, we thought of a name for this guy. Since he's the first one in our collection, we're going to call him Alpha. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Just remember, on Friday, I should be getting my first female ball python uh, that has a morph in, it, morph in it. So I'll be posting that sometime Friday night. Thanks again.